Hey, what's up? I am Michelle B. This is Channel Notes, a channel dedicated to helping YouTubers that educate and inspire to thrive on YouTube. And in this video, I want to talk about how to film more and better B-roll. If you're not familiar with what B-roll is, it's basically the stuff that's playing in front of my face right now. So it is the visuals that you overlay above you chatting which emphasize what you're saying, tell a story about what you're saying, and just give more visual engagement to what you're talking about. So me, right now, A-roll. What you're seeing at the moment is B-roll. If your whole video is just one long shot of you talking, your audience retention is almost guaranteed to be lower than a video where you're talking, but you have B-roll overlaid. So in this video, I wanna talk a little bit about how I'm getting more B-roll and better B-roll for my videos, so that you guys can get inspired to get more and better B-roll for your own videos. So one thing that I've been doing, which is quite new to me, is vlogging more. I made my very first vlog, or it feels like my first vlog, my first vlog in a very long time on my main channel, which was just a Get Productive With Me inspired by Joseph. And that video has created so much B-roll that I can continue using for the future. I'm also currently, while filming this video, vlogging my day in the life as a YouTuber for channel notes. And that is gonna give me a whole heap of other B-roll that I can then use for my main channel and this channel. Even if you aren't actually going to publish a vlog, I would recommend following yourself around with the camera for a day, doing the things that relate to your channel. So if you're a fitness channel, follow yourself around for the day, like drinking water, having a really healthy meal, I don't know, putting your protein shake together, going to the gym. This is you going to the gym. So for me, I might get a heap of shots of me eating healthy food, writing heaps of stuff on the computer, writing in notebooks, brainstorming out ideas, and all of that stuff I know I'm gonna be able to use for future videos on Michelle B. My second tip is to store and organize your B-roll for reuse. Just because you specifically filmed some B-roll for your last video, that doesn't mean that you can't reuse that B-roll for a video in five weeks time. So make sure that you have a good storage system for all of your B-roll. I got really fed up of thinking, ah, oh, I think I filmed something really good that would go with this like 10 videos ago let me go and hunt for it um, and I decided to get really intentional and create a proper folder organization system with all of my b-roll in it so it's just a bunch of random clips of me doing random stuff but it is so useful and I use it all the time so now I have this beautifully categorized system where I have folders for every single action I could possibly be performing in a video I just go in and I find all of the b-roll relevant to that particular action or topic and then I can drag it onto my timeline without even having to think about it. So often I will just reuse B-roll. I've never had any complaints so far. Obviously you want to switch up your B-roll as time goes by. You don't want to be reusing B-roll all the time because otherwise people will just recognize it and they'll get a little bit bored. You want to switch it up. My next tip is to take shots from every different angle. I could take a shot of me from behind typing up on my computer. I could take a shot from the side. I could take a close up shot of me typing on my keyboard. I could take a nice close up of like the side of my head just concentrating whilst typing on my computer. There are so many different angles that you can take a shot from to make things more engaging. The more angles that you shoot from, the more interesting your video will be. Watch any good YouTubers and you'll notice they're constantly like zooming in, zooming out, changing angles on particular shots of B-roll. And it may be like the same thing. They're performing the same action, but they've got it from like 10 different directions. And my last tip is to use different lenses. This is only something I've been doing recently. I have two different lenses that I use and I'm gonna link them down below. Um, but those lenses have a very different look and feel to them and switching them up just allows for a bit more variety within my videos. So one has a very like fuzzy background, beautiful, um, what's the word? Kind of a dreamy feel, whereas the other one is a little bit crisper. I'd love to know what your process is for getting your B-roll down in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I appreciate you so much and I will see you soon.